This video was sponsored by KiwiCo. Hi, this is Kate from Minute Earth. Animals come in all different sizes, but usually, over evolutionary time, each type of animal stays roughly the same size. Every once in a while, though, something crazy happens that allows an animal to get truly gigantic. Take insects and other arthropods, which have tiny bodies in part because they breathe by sponging up air through their exoskeletons. And the available oxygen can only diffuse so far before getting used up. If they had bigger bodies, oxygen wouldn't reach far enough inside. But about 300 million years ago, Earth's atmospheric oxygen levels spiked. With more oxygen in the air, arthropods' bodies could grow way bigger, leading to megabugs like a dragonfly the size of an eagle and a millipede the size of a two-person kayak. Dinosaurs, on the other hand, got pretty darn big without any outside help. But at some point, they hit a limit due to the so-called square cube law. Body strength is based on the cross-sectional area of bones and muscles, but weight is based on volume. And just like doubling the height of a cube causes its cross-sectional area to get four times larger, but its volume to get eight times larger. When an animal gets bigger, it does get stronger, but it gets way heavier. Fossil evidence suggests that dinos were nearing the size at which they could no longer lug around their own bodies when they stumbled upon an evolutionary breakthrough. A system of air pockets and air sacs throughout their skeletons that allowed them to get bigger without getting heavier and have incredibly long, but light, necks, which granted them access to a huge bounty of leaves. Eventually, though, a group of land animals got around the square cube problem altogether by climbing back into the water, which buoyed their weight. And since they took their lungs with them into the water, they could breathe oxygen-rich air rather than being stuck with oxygen-poor water, allowing these mammals to grow almost twice as big as the biggest fish. But these giant creatures just didn't have enough food to get any gianter than that. Then, a few million years ago, changing ocean currents brought tons of nutrients up from the depths, which fueled huge localized phytoplankton blooms, which in turn attracted enormous concentrations of scrumptious zooplankton. With this new trillion-calorie diet, together with their air-breathing lungs and water-supported bodies, blue whales quickly tripled in size to become not just gigantic, but truly the largest animals to have ever lived. And that is certainly something to spout about. Hi, this is David. I wrote this video because my kids kept asking me questions about why some animals get so big. To help foster their curiosity about the world, their Nana got them subscriptions to KiwiCo, which sends them a box of hands-on science, art, and math projects called the Kiwi Crate every month. I was super excited when KiwiCo offered to sponsor this video because we love the crates, and I'm sure your family will too. Sign up at kiwico.com slash minuteearth, and they'll give you the first month for free, just in time for the holidays.